Hey y'all, it's Robin the Dixie Pixie. Welcome back to my channel. Today I wanted to give you an update on some um, artificial nails that I've been using. Some of the ones that have worked, some of the ones that have not worked, and um, also some of the glues that are out there that you can use with artificial nails. Which ones are the best ones and which ones aren't. I have used artificial nails, golly, since I was, I, I probably got my first set of artificial nails when I was 17, 16 or 17, um, salon artificial nails. Um, and then I wore artificial nails for like from the salon for years and years and years. And then probably in my twenties, I started just doing them myself and buying them at the drugstore and just getting the little packs of nails that you could put on. And I've used just about every brand <laughs> there is out there. Um, so I feel like I've got a pretty good feel of what works and what doesn't work. First, let me say I have terrible, terrible, terrible nails. Um, I, I was a nail biter when I was little. Um, so my nails were, you know, never good to start with because I, 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 I bit them. Then, you know, I started using artificial nails so early and I've worn them for so long that they really just, I really can't use my nails unless I have artificial nails on. Um, right now, I just have on some cheap little nails because I had run out of my good ones. Um, they were in like a big pack. I forgot to get it out, but it's like a, it's Kiss nails and they come in a big pack like this. And I always keep these around just in case I run out of whatever I'm wearing and I need to switch out my nails. Um, and I've just got some purple polish on them, so these are just for right now until I can get some good ones put on. But let me go through, because I've talked about here on my videos, I've posted on Instagram pictures of nails that I'm using. So I'm just going to, you know, go over some of the ones I've used recently and what works and what doesn't work for me. And maybe that'll help you out if you're looking for artificial or fake fingernails. Um you know, they're great to slap on and and have, or if you don't have good nails, they're good to wear. They're a cheap alternative to going to the salon if you want to save a little bit of money. Um, I haven't worn salon artificial nails in a long, long time, in years. Um, I just do them myself. Um, so a couple weeks ago, I posted a picture of a French wrap kit by Kiss that I had gotten that um, Scarlett and I both had put these on um, and it was just, it's a neat little kit. I'll show you what's inside of it. You get um, the sealer, the top coat, the, the base coat, the base coat and the top coat and you get the glue and you get these little clear nails. These little tab things. And you put it on your nail and then you lift it off and it leaves the little white part on there and they look so great we were just oh my gosh they're awesome and you you know put it right on your own nail um, and it was not a full nail so it wasn't covering up your whole nail and we thought this is gonna be great because you know I think it would be better on our nails yeah well the next day <laughs> literally the next or actually the next day we woke up and nails were already missing and by the end of the day on the first day of wearing them they were gone and so this was not i want to say this was like ten dollars for the kit um i got it at walmart so i would not suggest this silk wrap kit by kiss which is odd because kiss is one of my favorite brands the everlast by kiss artificial nails are one of my top three um it was, it's probably third in my top three um and i would say they're like 8.99 something 7.99 8.99 something like that for a set of the kiss everlast but they're really really good they've got the really thick um if you get the French manicure, they got the really thick um, white part on the end. The um, French tip is very, very thick and it lasts for a long time. The glue is good. Um, now, the Kiss brush on glue is not good. Do not get the Kiss brush on glue. Don't waste your money. You buy that separate from any of the packets and it is not good. Um, but the glue that comes with the Kiss packs is, is good. But the French silk wrap kit don't waste your money not good um 
I do, and I do, and these are, are Kiss, and they're, they're good too. And um, they came with, came with some glue, and the glue was pretty good that they came with also. So, Kiss is a good one. My number two top nail would be Broadway nails. I want to say they're like between five, six, seven dollars, depending on where you get them at, Walmart, CVS, Walgreens. Um, they had the colors, and I wore the red um, through the holidays. One pack lasted me about two months. It lasted me until Christmas. It lasted me from all of Thanksgiving, or all of November, and right up till Christmas. So I would say a good six, seven weeks it lasted me. Um, and the, the uh, glue that comes with these is very, very good. The... Um, Nails are good quality, and they last. They don't wear down. Some nails will wear, like the fingers that you use the most, they'll start to angle and slant when they get wear on them. These didn't do that. The color stayed pretty. The red stayed pretty. Um, I cut some of them down and filed them and filed them. They filed nice. So the Broadway nails, these are the Fashion Diva that were the colored ones. The Broadway nails were very good. So that would be my number two drugstore nail for an artificial nail. My number one drugstore artificial nail would be Nailing. And Nailing has uh, several different types. They have the So Natural. They have, you know, the um, French manicure in pink, in the beige. And they have a lot of different ones. The ones that I got were colored, and they were just this little pink color. You can see that. They were that pink color. It didn't even say like what the color was or anything. And these came with glue and with um, press-on tabs too. So you could do them either way in the packet. And I want to say it was like seven dollars. Walgreens. Um, I mean Walmart. And they also have them at Walgreens. They also have them at CVS. So that same seven eight dollar range. But these were were really really good. And I really like these. And the glue that comes with these, it is just, it's called pink gel glue, professional pink gel glue, and it's the best gel glue. I love, love, love this glue that comes with the nailing. That's really great. So nailing's my number one. Broadway's my number two. Either the, the French manicure or the Diva fashion colors. They have lots of different colors in the fashion color. And Kiss would be my number three. And honestly, Kiss makes a... French tip, but it's a natural French tip, so it's not that bright white. It's just, it's not the starkness of the white. It's just a natural French tip. They're so, so pretty. I love those. In the summertime a lot, I will wear those. If I don't, you know, want any kind of color nails, um, I will wear those. I don't suggest painting um, artificial nails. They don't always paint that good. These Kiss ones paint pretty good, but most artificial nails just are not going to take fingernail polish the way that your natural fingernail will take it. Um, and it'll look goopy and it'll peel off. So if you're wanting a color, you know, something other than a French nail on an artificial nail, then I would go with the um, Nailene or the Broadway Divas. Now, I also used, tried the Revlon nails. They were the most expensive. They were like $8.99, $9.99, depending on where you get them. I did not care for those. Um, at first, I thought I liked them, but they did wear down a lot. The, um, the glue-on colored nails were very, very thin. They wore, um, you know, they slanted, and the nail bed wore down. Um, the, I also tried the um, press-on ones with, with the glue tabs with those, and they were thicker and did a little bit better, but I had to put glue with the, with the gel tab, the glue tab, to keep them on. Just didn't care for those that much. I um, also tried the Impressions. They come in the cute little fingernail polish looking bottle, and I got them in this bright orange color. They're very, very short, which I liked because I, I do like my nails to be pretty short. Um, and they lasted a good while. They did last good, but they um, had the gel tabs on them. And when I went to take them off, the tab was very, very strong. 
and did not want to come off. Had that problem with the Revlon ones too. Um, the Revlon actually was worse than the impressions um, or impress nails. I just don't like the tab ones. I'm just going to go with glue. That's just me. That's just what I like. And um, the Revlon glue was not that great. Was not really good. Didn't stay on. I actually went back and pulled out some old nailing glue, that professional pink gel glue. You can also get professional pink gel glue at um, Sally's. It works just, that's just about the best. Kiss glue, they have a maximum speed that you can buy. Let's see if I can find that where the light's better. Maximum speed, and you can buy it separate from the kits, and it's a very good glue too. But the nailing glue is, the, the pink professional gel glue is the best glue. So, Sorry this was such a long video. I just wanted to give you my thoughts on some nails since I've talked about them a lot and I've posted pictures of them and just wanted to run down the hit and miss list that I have um, kind of come up with myself. So nailing is the best in my opinion. Broadway's number two. Kiss is number three. If you want some pretty nails, go out and get you some at the drugstore and slap them on. Um, they usually last a couple weeks if you take care of them. And if you, you know, you press them down good, make sure they're a good length, not too, too long. And, um, but if you have, you know, natural nails, don't put anything on them. Don't mess them up. Cause once you start using them, I'm telling you, it's hard to go back. It will mess up your natural nail. Um, so unless you just have really bad nails and you, you want something on there, then, you know, I wouldn't use them. I, I would not go back and use them again 30 years ago. Um, I would just take care of my nails, but now I'm, I'm into it, so I got to keep going. Hope y'all have a great day. Tomorrow is the Miss South Point pageant at Scarlett's High School, and she's competing. So if everybody would say a little prayer for me, for her, for me, to keep my nerves, <laughs> and as I'm helping her get ready, and for her as she's competing, just to do her best. I know she'll do her best, but just, um, they're giving $10,000 in scholarships total away so there's a potential to win some scholarship money there so um if y'all would just say a little prayer cross your fingers give us a good thought we would appreciate it y'all have a great weekend i will see you soon and hope this was just a little tip from the dixie pixie to help you have fun save money and look fabulous and y'all come back and see me now you hear